Shrouded in early morning fog, there is a small spit of land tucked away in a remote corner of Northern California. This is where the Klamath River meets the Pacific. Working these waters are members of the Yurok tribe, descendants of the indigenous people who thrived in this part of the world over 8,000 years ago. Since daybreak, they have been preparing their nets and traps, waiting for the salmon to begin their upstream migration to the spawning grounds of their birth. After hours of waiting, the Yurok fishermen sense that something is wrong. Something is keeping the salmon from coming home. Even the sea lions and gulls are becoming impatient. Pacing the shore is Raymond Matz. He's a tribal elder who's fished these waters since he was a boy. Today, he's concerned about the state of the local fishery. It's really hard on the native people here. I was born and raised on this river, and I fought for the fishing rights here. And I seen this river, a lot of things happen in this river, a lot of things. Once, not so very long ago, vast stands of ponderosa and redwood forests surrounded the Klamath River. Its crystal clear waters helped make this the third richest salmon river in the country. Its bounty sustained the indigenous people who fished along these shores. And until the early 1900s, this was a healthy ecosystem in balance with nature. But then government agencies started to reshape the Klamath watershed. Forests were clear cut and wetland ecosystems were destroyed. A series of dams were built to generate electricity and to divert enormous amounts of water to help tens of thousands of homesteading farmers irrigate their land. For decades, there was barely enough water for agriculture and the salmon. Then, in 2001, an historic two-year drought hit the Pacific Northwest with a vengeance. There was no longer enough water to satisfy everyone's needs. Suddenly, anger and frustration broke out as farmers and Native American fishermen battled over water rights. 